Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And today is my second project for the October SU Colour Challenge. Um, at least I think it's the second. I'm filming them both um, in advance, so um, I'm not quite sure. I have done two projects for this. Um, in the other one I explain a bit more about the group but it's a Facebook group and if you search for SU Colour Challenge um, on Facebook you will be um, asked to join the group you will be allowed to join the group if you are a stamper and you want to come in and join in the colour challenges so this is my second inspiration video as I said in the other one I was really excited when my photograph was chosen um, to be our inspiration for October. I took this photograph last year with my phone while I was standing at a bus stop waiting to go to my work. Um, not getting those same opportunities. I have to kind of make opportunities to get out for walks now. Um, so, yeah, I need to get out and get some autumn leaf photographs this year as well, and I will do. But for now, I'm just going to show you the this card that I've done using the colours in this challenge which are Bumblebee, Granny Apple Green, Early Espresso and Cajun Craze and I based this on circles. I think I have another video out that kind of, it's not um, with this colour scheme but it kind of shows you this style of stamping. Again it's just, um, I've got two layers here, I'm going to stamp on a layer of very vanilla and then I'm going to mat that onto this layer here of early espresso and then onto a very vanilla card base. It's really simple construction. I'm going to put a sentiment on this. This is our punched with our one and a half inch circle punch and this one with our two inch circle punches. All our punches are at the back of the catalogues. Well, not in this um, mini catalogue, they're spread throughout, but in the annual catalogue, they are, you will see them throughout the catalogue, but they are grouped together at the back to make it easy for you to find them. There's also an index at the back of the, it's a picture index at the back of the mini catalogue. Okay, so all I'm going to do is use these four colours. Again, I'm just sticking with simple stamping here. And I've got my four colours of ink, as I said. Early Espresso, Granny Apple Green, Bumblebee, Cajun Craze. So yeah, they're very autumnal, kind of. And I, I, I did think, you know, it was kind of odd for this bright leaf amongst the sort of darker ones, but that's the way autumn goes, all the colours mingle together. So love it. Autumn is a very, well, like all the seasons, but autumn's for its colours. So let's stamp, as they say. Let's stamp. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm basically just going to, it won't be an exact replica of this card, but I'm basically going to recreate this. So, uh, it's a wee bit stamp set heavy. I've used probably a stamp from each of five stamp sets, so bear with me on this one. But do you know what? You can do the same as me. If you want to do something based on circles and things, have a look through all your stamp sets and see what you've got, which is what I did. And I've come up with these. I have plenty of other ones that have circles in too, but for the moment, sticking with these ones. So the first one is a stamp set I have had a while. I actually um, got this as a in my stash, my bag at... Uh, on stage, the last probably one of the last ones that I went to in the UK face to face. Because yeah, so I'm using the bigger one here and the smaller circles. These these stamps at first when I got this stamp set didn't have a clue what to do with it. But as you can see I've used it loads. It's it's actually very handy. Now I need I'm gonna stamp these with the early espresso. I 
need a block, which that one's not big enough, so I'll get a bigger one. This is block E. What to do is just pop it down because they're a bit stretchy. Look how much I've used this, it's all marked but never stained. But hey, I've had great fun with it. All right. And we'll just pop that one. That one's a wee bit got a bit more structure to it because it's got that in the middle. Right, so ink it up. Gentle taps. I'm actually just going to use this circle just once. So see, it won't come out exactly the same each time, but stamping it off the picture a bit, or off my piece anyway a bit. And that's the only big one I'm going to pop in there, so let's just give this a clean. I'm going to try, because I've got so many stamp sets out, is to clean them off. And put them away each time, otherwise I'm going to mount get into a fine old mess. I do remember when I did this card I had a pile this high to clean up after. I'm going to try and avoid that today. All right I don't think I need that big block again so again pop that away. Because once I've recorded this I want to go and do a, vi a live video on YouTube so um, I don't want to have too much to tidy up. So I'm doing simple, similar composition to the other one. They're beautiful. These just stamp beautifully. I'm always impressed. So those ones were from Swirly Frames. Pop that away. And then we'll bring out this one from Comfort and hope I'm going to use this one. It's kind of just like string. It's a red rubber one. I just I'm just mixing match. I'll close this. I think that it's only feature in. And this time I'm going to use Cajun Grease. Then I'm going to interlock the circles. With this one. So three times I've stamped that one. Keep going Janice, clean off. And put away. Next little stamp set's finished. Not finished with, but finished with for this video. And then we'll go with these. See these little circles here in Beauty Abounds? I'm going to use the, the larger of those two stamps. And the colours, I'll just do a bit more of it. This might, um, it will not be the same, just kind of. I'm going to use this three times and see how it's got different depths and it's a distinctive mm -hmm. stamp. It's really nice actually. So I'm going to clean that off and use a different colour. I'm just not quite sure how this is going to work out because these stamp sets are a bit on the juicy side. Right, we'll bring out our bumblebee at first.
that's bring I actually quite like the colours, but this challenge was to use all the colours, so let's just keep going. Because I've just re-inked this Granny Apple Green, I'm gonna. When I when I was doing this, I hadn't re-inked it, and I ha so I'm just being a bit careful now. Yeah, I'm not too happy. Yeah, it'll settle, but I think I need to get some of that. But it's good because it's just given different texture. But I will stamp off. Now you could leave it at that or we can go in like I did and add in some stronger colour. We can give that a go. So we have, I, I've lost my, the yeah, file I've got this out as well. well the, uh, let's do a sentiment that fits on the one and a half inch punch. And I did find that the ones in waterfront. Every little kindness makes the world brighter. But I've also got this one. Friends make good times better. And the bit here that says and hard times easier. That's good. That's true. Let's see. Oops. Losing. Right. Friends make good times. I don't know if I need both stamps to fill up this or not. We'll see. No, just the one. We can pop the other one on the inside if we want to. Right. So pop that over. And just because the early espresso ink is close by, let's just put that on there. Let's make sure I've got enough. Yay. Clean it, put it away. Now, so we've got a distinctive circle here, which we could use, or which I did use. Just to point out to you, there is another circle here in high, t high tide, which I'll probably not use today, but I used it because I felt that my granny apple green wasn't showing up enough, but I think because I've re-inked it, it probably will. That's a solid stamp. I quite like the distinctive. So I think we'll just stick with waterfront in this card rather than high tide. So let's see. That's, and I want to get a bit more um, terracotta tile in here. So if we ink that up, yeah, it's stronger. So off, on, off, on, off, on. So that's brought some more stronger granny apple green in. And let's get some. It's not terracotta. I keep wanting to call it terracotta. Um, Cajun craze. We do have a terracotta tile, but that was not in this colour challenge. So I think we'll just go for yeah, first generation with this one. You'll know yourself what you like, because at the end of the day, you know, this is for your own pleasure. For me, stamping is for me. It's therapeutic for me. I don't find it in the least bit stressful. My, de my craft desk my happy place. I think we've done enough. It's completely different. 
to the other card look much more stamping in this one but it doesn't matter that's what it's all about it's just just have fun so I'm just going to pop this away and I'll be very impressed with myself that I've put every stamp away and then hopefully I will just file them away when I'm done so we're just going to stick this all together now so not a complicated card to make, just some fun stamping and then stick it together. I will get some dimensionals out, excuse me, stretching across. And I will close my early espresso before we have an accident. And staying that, I could do with a cup of coffee and that's... I don't know if it's just the suggestion early espresso, but as you know, I, I kind of drink coffee all day. Right, so where's the bits? Where's our bits? Okay, so this is going on here. Whoops. Now, I don't know if you've noticed I have made friends with stamp and seal. It's actually, I'm loving it. So, you know, you can, once this is layered up, you can put it either direction on your card. So what I might do is just line it up so you know it's going to be relatively straight. That's it. And again, more stamp and seal. So you could either put it that direction like I did with the other one where I kind of, you know, did that way. This would be a stamp this, but let's just put it on the other way around and just see what we think. Could be straighter. Like my primary teacher said, could be better. But hey, and then we're going to just did get a wee bit, go a bit squint there. And then just stick it on there. And what I've done with that one is, so do I want to do it? Whoops, I'm going to pop this up here somewhere. Do that way or that, I think that way. So we're going to put it to the side, kind of like an approaching eclipse. <laughs> I like that because then you get the crescent of the layer of that and then some dimensional. Let's just use, there's black ones at the top so let's just use them. Three for balance, I think, so it doesn't wobble off. I'm going to pop this coming out of there. Friends make good times better. I'm going to pop the other sentiment. Where is it? And hard times easier. Let's just pop it in now rather than say I'll do it later. Because do you know what happens? I think we all know what happens. It doesn't happen. <laughs> well, sometimes it would if it was about if I was about to send it, I would pop it in, but I'm just making sure we we get it around the right way. And I managed to dip that in the ink, that was because I was turning it round. And the hard times easier. They sure do. I am one lucky girl. I have some amazing friends. 
Even amazing friends that I've never actually met in person. Like you. <laughs> so there you go. Every little kindness makes the world brighter. And friends make the good times better. And the hard times easier. What fab sentiments. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please press the bell icon. And please go in the description box below. And you will find the link for the Facebook group and you can have a go at this challenge and then you can um, post your makes up there as well. Anything you do using our, our colour challenges, you can share there. So, thank you very much. See you on the next video.